This is all about how can we create a community here with the Real Estate Bestie where we are not catty we're not you know trying to steal each other's clients but we are collaborating we are putting our heads together we are masterminding so that we can pull the best out of each other hey friends i'm rosemary lewis your homegirl and i'm so excited that you are here i do not care what it looks like on instagram or hgtv this whole being a realtor thing is not for the faint at heart In 2017, I quit my job as a teacher to follow my real estate dreams and quickly found myself overwhelmed and struggling. Fast forward to today, not only have I been recognized as one of the leaders in our industry, I have actually grown a business that I absolutely love. I don't care if you're a brand new agent trying to figure out how to get started or a veteran feeling overwhelmed and just stuck. I was just like you and I totally get it. Many times I wish there was someone that I could just talk to about all the challenges I was facing. And that is why I created this space just for you. Like best friends do, I'm giving you all the tea related to navigating and thriving in these real estate streets. If I can do it, guess what? That's proof that you can too. Everything's better with friends, so let's succeed together. Welcome to the Real Estate Bestie Podcast. Well, hello there, besties. Okay, welcome. I'm so excited to say it. Welcome to episode 100. Yay! And the crowd goes wild. Okay, so first of all, shout out to you. Shout out to me. Shout out to us because we have made it to episode 100. It reminds me, those of you know, that I was an elementary school teacher before I got into the wonderful world of podcasting and realtoring and team leading and all this stuff. I was a teacher for a long time. And if you have a kiddo or if you've ever been on the education side, you know, there is this thing that they do, especially when kids are in kindergarten for the 100th day of school where the kids come and they show up and they they dress like they think they would be if they were 100 years old. Because 100 days, I remember talking to some students, they like, look, we've been coming here 100 days. That's a long time. And I agree with those kiddos. That's a long time to be showing up to somebody's school, y'all. And you have shown up 100 times to listen to me, to your real estate bestie, just be here to support you and guide you. And I'm just so excited. So thank you so much for being a part of episode 100. And I thought that it would be pretty cool if for this episode, like y'all, I was just really thinking like at first I was like, should I tell my story or like, what should we talk about? And I'm like, no, I want to make, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll tell you my story at some point or I, you, you all know parts of it, but I really want to point to some of the resources that we have created and provided for you since we started this podcast in September of 2022. So there has been a lot of work that has gone into getting us to number 100. But more than anything, I just want to tell you, Bestie, thank you so much. And if for whatever reason, if you have never ever gave us a five star review, if you could just take a second pause review the episode because it would just mean so much to us and I just want to share a few stats with you real quick do you know that over 80 percent of podcasts never make it to episode number 20 and we are at episode number 100 but then here's the thing because of you because of how you all have downloaded and shared the podcast and how we are growing this baddie community of real estate besties y'all we technically uh, according to this this article that I read in terms of the amount of downloads we get we're in the top five percent of podcasts in all categories and I'm just so grateful for you I'm so grateful for you for showing up for hitting that share button for sharing this for putting us on social media so there we go now speaking of the podcast I was like I got to tell you that not only am I the host of Real Estate Bestie, but y'all, I'll I be listening to, <laughs> and one of the reasons that I'm so passionate about this 
for us. Look, I love this for us. Is because a lot of times I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to that agent who, you know, was starting out and just didn't know where she fit. I'm talking to that agent who was in production, but felt like she was failing at home and trying to figure out how to create rhythms in her life. I'm talking to that, you know, that team leader who's trying to figure out how to scale this business that God has blessed her with. I'm talking to just that that little girl who just sometimes does does not feel good enough, right? And I think that a lot of you all come back here because you resonate with one or all of those feelings. And that's why it's easy for me to continue to show up because I know that what we're sharing here is what I wish somebody would have said to me. And I'm, ho- I'm hoping that you just feel that nudge, that hug. So I was looking through like some of the podcasts, like what some of my favorites were, because you may have just started listening to the Real Estate Bestie podcast, or maybe you haven't listened to all of them. And one day you're going to binge listen to all 100. But if not, I just wanted to point out a couple of episodes that really mean a lot to me and that I think will really help you as you are on this journey of womanhood, real estate, bestiehood, whatever you want to call it. So the first episode that I want to point you to is episode number three, y'all. This was like one of the ones that we debuted with and it was overcoming imposter syndrome. This episode was really important to me because I just think that I know that I deal with imposter syndrome. I have dealt with it. I still deal with it. And I think that it's just something that's ever present in our lives. It's ever present in our industry. And and I think we got to have a conversation, right? Like sometimes we can lie to ourselves and say that, you know what, I don't compare myself or I don't ever have moments where I'm not feeling great or good enough. But the reality is that I think in our humanity, we all struggle. And in that episode, I just really shared with you just some real life ways that when I have that nudge, uh, and I feel that imposter syndrome creeping in, and, and there are two ways that I experience it. One way is, you know, playing the comparison game, I'm so busy looking at how somebody else is running their race that I can't successfully run mine. And then the other is just then when when your life is changing, and when you God is putting you in different positions, it's hard hard to celebrate and and honor where you are because you just kind of feel like, oh, I feel like a phony. I feel like an imposter. Like I really shouldn't be here. So that episode really breaks down, like just really just some tangible ways to overcome all of those feelings. And if you haven't checked it out, I'm going to encourage you to check it out. You can probably scroll wherever you're listening to this episode or rosemarylewis.com forward slash three, and you'll get to that one. Okay. Now we're going to go to my next favorite episode, or I don't know if these are my favorite. Well, they are my favorite. I really like them. One that I really want to point out to you. Episode number eight, y'all, what's better than a morning routine? In this episode, I really walk you through how the light bulb went off in my head as I'm trying to, you know, establish and execute these morning routines. And I find myself not being successful. And then I, it finally dawned on me like, sis, The reason that you're struggling in the morning is because you have zero structure at night. And I wish I could just sit on this high horse and tell you that this is not a continual process because I will be killing my night routine for a couple months and then I'll get off and then I'll kill it again. So I literally go back and listen to my own words to remind me the structures to put in place because at the end of the day, like we want to have good rituals to start up our days, but also to shut down our days. And I I think that in all the books, all of the how to be successful things that we read in here, there's not enough emphasis put on the importance of that night routine. So we did it on podcast number eight. So rosemarylewis.com forward slash eight. Make sure you check that out. Now, the next episode that I want to highlight and just let you all know about, I think that it's timely. I am recording this current episode number 100 in November of 2023, and I've already started to see people announcing they're going to different brokerages, they're switching teams, joining teams, leaving teams. A lot of times, I think that we see a lot of transition during this time in our business anyway. And if you've never made that switch before, it can be daunting and to even figure out, 
you know, if something else is going to be a good fit, if it's worth your time. And in that episode, I really talk you through just some questions that you want to ask yourself before you make a switch to really identify, like really setting realistic expectations for what you expect from a broker. And then like different things to think about as you are exploring a new brokerage relationship. So if this is like striking a chord with you and you're wondering if part of the reasons that you are, you know, feeling discontented or you're ready to grow is because of where you are hanging your license, definitely check out that rosemarylewis.com forward slash 16. Or again, anywhere you are listening to this, you should be able to scroll down and get to episode 16. Okay, the next one that I want to talk to you about is episode number 54, where we talked about five ways to attract new clients. Now, ironically, do you all know that this, it's not ironic because it makes sense to me. This is actually the number one episode that we have in terms of downloads. We get more downloads for this one. Y'all are in my D- DMs more because we we all want some right now money, right? With whatever's happening in the market, I don't care if the market is progressive or if it's slow, we want to figure out how do we get in front of and have clients that are ready to go, ready to close and ready to do the darn thing. Add in 8% interest rates, 7.5% interest rates, you know, prices going down, listings selling longer. It's now more important than ever that we really understand what our daily activities need to look like and how we're bringing the right type of clients into, into our sphere. I'll tell you that I'm emphasizing the right type of client because, you know, you definitely in the market, you take the wrong listing and you don't set up the proper expectations with the seller and you're just eager to get somebody to sign something, it could end up being a waste of your time and your energy. So on this episode, number 54, we talk about five ways to attract the right type of clients now, right? What are some things that you can be doing on a daily basis to get the right people in your database who are going to be ready to move forward? So go ahead and definitely, definitely, definitely check that one out. Y'all already been checking it out. I mean, and while you're at it, go ahead and share it with one of your real life real estate besties. Okay. Now let's talk through the next one, which is probably one of the more personal episodes that I have ever done, which is episode number 68, Confessions of a Struggling Real Estate Agent. Now, if you haven't heard this one, let me just give you a disclaimer that your girl is straight up crying um, throughout the episode. You can hear me, I'm audible, you can hear it. But I really walk you through my journals. I have been a journaler now on a consistent basis, pretty much since the start of my real estate career in 2017, or my second stab at it. You know, if you know my story, you know that I had a short stint pre-recession, but I'm here to stay now. But the beauty of journaling is that I, y'all, it's better than, I mean, just as good or better than therapy, because in real time, I was like pouring my heart out to myself and to God just on how hard this could be. And not just this in real estate, but this life, right? Just the things that we are facing, the things that we're going through. And, you know, when I started those journals, there are certain things that I've experienced in life that I didn't even know that would happen. You know, I didn't know I would lose my mom. I didn't know I would lose my sister, but even great things. Like I didn't know that, you know, somebody who, was writing in there about, you know, missing out on deals or somebody choosing them for a listing appointment is now a four-time icon agent with my brokerage, right? I had no idea what God had in store for my business. And in that episode, I thought that it was so important because the reality is that, you know, 87% of agents don't continue after five years. And it's not because, you know, if it was the HGTV, if it was the sell and sunset version of real estate, the numbers will be a lot higher. But I truly think that a lot of times, you know, our profession is so glamorized that when you are hitting opposition or just trying to figure out how to make it all work, or just if it's not just a good fit for you, 
you feel like you're so alone and don't know how to approach the very next day, the very next conversation. So in Confessions of a Struggling Real Estate Agent, I literally pulled out my journals and I read them. And that one is probably one of the ones where I have gotten, you know, you all just really sharing like, sis, I feel that so much and I feel encouraged. So a little bit more vulnerable. I'm not gonna lie, a little bit more vulnerable. But it was super important for me to do that episode. God put it on my heart. And I I want you to check it out. Episode number 68. And then do me a favor. That one in particular, share it with somebody. Like when you listen to it, take a picture, snap it, put it on your social media, tag me at Rosemary the Realtor. Because I truly believe that people are saved by the word of our testimony. And the more that we can share and empathize with others, I just think that we're going to see real change, right? Um, So definitely want you all to check out that one. And then episode number 90, just 10 episodes back, y'all, shared with you about 2024 business planning. If you have not listened to that episode yet, I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and do it because we are in goal setting season. Okay. Like I started thinking through setting intentions, reflecting on the current year in October, but definitely by November, you should be full swing ahead in goal setting season. So hopefully this episode will help you just kind of formulate some ideas and some thoughts. I'm just saying, if you are not that person that you haven't really thought about your goals yet, it's okay. Like it's okay that you haven't thought about them up until now, but now you have a resource to help you think it through. And it's so important because you just don't want to be running a race and not really sure what you're running towards, right? Literally picture if you were, you know, at a track meet and you see all of the people lined up to run. And then when the gun goes off, this, the guy who's running as fast and as hard is running the wrong way. (laughs) You know, he's not going to win the race or she's not going to win the race. And we don't want that to be ourselves, right? We want to have some clarity on exactly what direction we should go, what lane we need to be in and what is the prize. And more importantly, what's the why? And, And that's what that episode was really about was really hammering down and identifying the why behind what we are doing. So again, rosemarylewis.com forward slash 90 to check that out. Now, I don't want to leave you hanging because in addition to podcasts, y'all, there are so many free resources for you on our website that I just don't know if you know about them, okay? And I get it. Like there are definitely, you know, different products and things that you can buy. We have things that we offer where it takes you to a deeper dive, but we also understand that in this climate that you need to maybe just really take advantage of all of the the complimentary resources so that you can get help. You know, every single week, you're gonna get two podcasts from me. You're always gonna get a YouTube video, just different complimentary ways that I just wanna help you until you're ready to take the next step and show up in coaching or show up for one of our courses or at the retreat. But on our website, we actually have a couple resources and I wanna point out to you some of those resources, okay? So the first one is a template or all about winning the week. So this is a free time blocking template and you're going to get a peek into how I actually plan my weeks for maximum productivity in my business, but also still like legit enjoy my life. If you follow me on social media, you know, I stay on a date with my husband. I stay laughing and having fun with my team, but we also stay closing. So, so this time blocking template is going to help you with that win the week. Um, also ideal day. So this is a separate one where we are just going to really like hone in on how to structure and create your ideal day in real estate. The next resource that we have for you are your 10 habits for success. Uh, You know what? Well, here, this, look, this is something separate. One of my favorite books, if you have not read it, Atomic Habits by James Clear. Listen to it on Audible. Also buy the hard copy. Listen to it while you highlight it because everybody sets goals, right? But here's the thing. Few people achieve them because we do not rise to the level of our goals. We fall to the level of our systems and our systems are the habits that we 
are putting in place every single day as we are working to achieve a certain thing in life. So the next resource I have for you are the 10 habits of highly, insanely successful real estate agents, okay? So this one is going to help you fill your real estate business by implementing these non-negotiable habits that will give you the tools to help more people be more productive and make some money, okay? So you want to definitely get this. And I don't know if I said it, every resource that I'm talking about right now, you can get on our website, rosemarylewis.com forward slash resources. Okay, couple more. We also have on our website, contract to close email templates, okay? So I have shared with you email templates so that when you get a client, once they go under contract, these are going to be the email templates that you are going to send out talking to, you know, giving them instructions on how to deliver their earnest money, on how inspections, on getting insurance. So it's, it's a template that will help you. Now I'm going to emphasize y'all the word template. Like you gonna have to fill in the blanks yourself, okay? Make sure that you actually read the template and that you put in the information that is pertinent to your client. But this is going to help get you on the right foot so that you can have a system of how to follow up with them once you have gone under contract. And then finally, well, not finally, I have another one, SMART goals. So we also have a SMART goal template because here's the deal. You're gonna have to get smart about your goals and how to actually make them actionable and measurable and attainable. And this SMART goals template is going to assist you with that. So you're going to be able to download this. I give you, I define exactly what a SMART goal is, give an example of how to set one, an income goal, and you're gonna be able to follow that. And then finally, the last resource on our website, y'all, it is a free little course for new realtors, okay? It is a series of, I think it's either eight or nine videos of like my nine best pieces of advice for brand new real estate agents. So if you are brand new to real estate or if you're thinking about getting in real estate or if you are, you know, re-engaging yourself, it's been a while or you have your license for a while but you haven't been in production or you, you've you been in the game but you just wanna see what I'm talking about, definitely, definitely, definitely download this free course because it is breaking down so much information for you as new real estate agents, okay? So again, all of these actually, you're gonna be able to just hit up my website, rosemarylewis.com forward slash resources to get some resources, some resources to help you. And that's these, that's what this is all about, right? This is all about how can we create a community here with Real Estate Bestie where we are not catty we're not you know trying to steal each other's clients but we are collaborating we are putting our heads together we are masterminding so that we can pull the best out of each other so i just want to encourage you right to listen to some or even more episodes that i've pointed out get these resources of course get in our facebook group i forgot to mention that we have a private facebook group just for real estate besties and really just just start, get in the habit of showing up because we have so much here in this community for you because ultimately it was created and we are at episode 100 with the sole purpose of seeing you soar. So I hope that you feel all of the love that we have for you. And I hope that you just get on board. Now, of course, I, I got to end the episode by saying, if you want to show us a little bit of love back, please go ahead and subscribe to the podcast. I think you can just click follow wherever you're listening to it and leave us a five-star review, like leave us a review let us know what's your favorite episode, what has been helpful for you. And not only, I read every single review, like literally I like stalk the reviews and then I try to find like the people that kind of sort of got a name. I try to find who you are so that I could tell you thank you in real life. I read the reviews on the podcast because it is just such a testament of what we can do when we get together. We're already in the top 5% of podcasts, I believe, 
that we can continue to share and grow till we get to the top 1%. And that only means that we're going to have more real estate besties to grow and learn with. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping us get to episode 100. And here is to 100 more. Talk to you soon, besties. If you enjoyed this episode and you have a real life bestie that you think it would resonate with, y'all do me a favor, go ahead and hit that share button because you know what? We are better together. Make sure you share the podcast and I appreciate your reviews. I appreciate you giving me five stars more than you know. I'll talk to you next week.